There's, there's a handful of things that I think are inevitable, that the momentum is really happening. And I think we're in an economic recovery, by the way, and you tend to see a lot of tech change as you come out of, out of recessions. You know, the sort of online music uh, and this, in the consumer world and the cell phones and the, uh, the smartphones was sort of the last one we went through. So I think in this next decade, the next five, six years of hopefully economic health, you'll see the idea of video being as, as pervasive as a phone call. So when you can, when you're at, at a place where you can get, get high-speed internet, that you'll, you'll default to video if you can get it. So that's what we see at places like Cisco where we have a lot of options to use the telepresence. If I think some, the other person might be available on telepresence, I try that first because I'm just going to get so much more out of the interaction. And you'll see that, I think, from people who are on the home or on the road. Clearly, you'll also see people escalating up and down from text and IM to phone call into telepresence. So you see an evolution to it being a very different and special experience to something that you just upgrade to. Are you there? Yes, I'm there. Oh, hi, how are you? I actually have telepresence. Me too. Upgrade into telepresence. And again, telepresence meaning sometimes over the web, sometimes over the corporate network, often mixed together. You'll also see, I think, a lot more innovation in these group interactions. We've talked about healthcare, education, media, financial services, where you use telepresence to bring two or usually more people together. I think you'll find us finding other ways to make group experiences more compelling with telepresence. There's an idea called an active collaboration room where you bring 18 people into a room full of whiteboards and they're connected to other rooms full of 18 people and whiteboards and they're actually redesigning things and using interfaces between smart boards and other devices and the web and telepresence that they could, you know, and they take snapshots of things and virtually post them on the wall and basically create what used to have to be done in one place with many people in open space to be able to do be done over telepresence. I was just at uh, New York University and they're experimenting with how to do that with students in cafes and open spaces to create interaction that might not have been there. You see tutoring and other things go on to telepresence. So many human interactions will become available on telepresence. So you say every phone call will become telepresence when possible, but also things that weren't phone calls, all kinds of human experiences. And lastly, you see a lot of new technology come into this. There's a lot going on, for example, with how uh, video is encoded, how we find your face and focus the the pixels that we're going to process on your face and on your hands, how we, how we direct sound, how we find sound, how we find people and, and identify them. We can say who you are and put your name on you. We can put 3D displays. You can have virtual 3D displays where it's 2D on my end, but it looks 3D on your end when it comes out. So there's a lot coming in how media, sound, how dimensions are processed, both in audio and video, that will keep coming their way. They'll come into the high-end systems and work their way down. So this, just like self, the first PCs and now cell phones were sort of a, the carrier of new technology into our lives, I think you'll see the same thing with telepresence, bring a lot of, of new types of technology, what we think of as sophisticated, into making these experiences work for people.